Hey guys, what's up? It's me, so I'm back with another video. So for today's video, I am outside for the first time today. You should be proud of me. <laughs> um, so I have some really exciting news to tell you guys. I'm honestly so terrified uh, that I even went through with this. I just like, I, I'm still mind blown and shocked that I even did this, but um, so your girl is going to officially be a porn star. So you guys know that, you know, I work on OnlyFans and I've been working on OnlyFans for a year now, a year and some months. And I've been, you know, doing decent for myself, making a little bit of money while I also been, you know, having my full-time security job. I've been doing security for about, I want to say four years. Um, it's been pushing like four years of doing security. This whole time I've been trying to find something like different. I've been trying to transfer and switch over careers because I'm so tired of security and you know, I mean, like everything in my life right now is just kind of pointed towards OF, you know, like OnlyFans and sex work and stuff like that. I've been a independent contractor for a while, <laughs> my own boss for a while. And so, you know, I had this opportunity a while ago, but I chose Ghetto Gaggers. I chose to be on Ghetto Gaggers instead of going to San Diego. Um, Cause at that time, that was just the more appropriate um, option for me to take. Cause I was still working, still had a full-time job while maintaining OF and all that stuff. So it was hard for me to just go out to San Diego. Um, but now, you know, I, it was either one or the other. So I had to quit my full-time job. And, you know, like I was in the middle of transferring security jobs. Like I had a new security job and everything, but I was just like, what am I doing? Like the new year is coming, 2023 is coming. And I'm still in the same situation that I've been in since 2019. Okay, I, you, the, the OG followers, you guys remember this park. Like, you guys remember this park, the OG followers. I used to do my live streams here, like, and everything. Like, I want to level up. Like, I really do. I deserve to level up in life. And with me being so afraid, like, the opportunities, have been right in front of my face the whole time for me to live a completely different lifestyle for me to have that chance but i was just so afraid to take it because of all the the things that could go wrong with what i'm about to do you know like once you go through with this type of work in this industry it's no going back that's the only thing I was afraid of. You can't go back. You can't change your mind once you've been in like one one film, one adult film, which I have already, Ghetto Gaggers. I've been in one adult film. So, you know, it's like, it's out there forever. So it's like, do I really want to continue it or do I want to just keep it at that? You know, and it's like, I'm not going to know all the possibilities that's there for me if I just keep it at that. I could be fucking living in like a mansion in like the next year or two. I could fucking have like a hundred thousand dollars in my bank account, you know, like, and I'm not trying to get rich fast. I know that's not how it works. That's not how it works with, with anything. Like I'm not, it's not a get rich scheme. I know this is serious. I know this is my future. I know what, uh, you know, consequences this might bring to me in my life and I've already accepted that and I'm still trying to learn to accept 
that. Um, but this is what I want to do. You know, you only live one life and you can't take anything back in life. Once it's all said and done, once you're on your deathbed, you can't go back like, like 20, 20, 30 years and be like, oh, I wish I would have done this differently. You can't, and I don't want to have any regrets in my life. That's one thing I don't want. I don't want any regrets. I don't. So I took the leap and I'm gonna do it. I bought my ticket already, but the only problem about that is I can't be on my period when I go out to San Diego. And your girl, your girl might get it. She's been feeling a little sick today. So please pray for me because that was $200 that I spent on that ticket and I leave Friday. And it's like, I'm so terrified. Like nobody knows about this besides like my niece and now you guys. And I'm also just really stressed, you know, there's, I'm really stressed. There's things that I need to get together before I leave. Uh, today, like, <laughs> today's Tuesday. I literally, like, only have, like, three days. Not even three days. Like, two days. Because I can't be doing shit on Friday. Because I leave in the morning time. My flight is at 9.30 in the morning on Friday. So I literally just have today and tomorrow to get what I need to get done. And at first, I was just going to be like, you know what, I'm going to make this video for you guys. And then, you know, I'm going to do my shopping tomorrow because it's already like four or five o'clock right now. Um, <laughs> but then I was like, you know what, stop being a lazy bitch, Shania. Stop it because you're not going to get shit done if you're lazy. That is one of my biggest things that I need to work on for the new year stop being so late like like I will hold myself back from a lot of things because I'm so lazy and it's like I don't even try to be at this point it's just I've been lazy like for so many years that like it's hard for me to push myself it's hard for me to get motivated because also you know like I struggle with depression and stuff like um I've been taking my medication so, you know, that's been helping my my mindset. It's been helping my moods. <laughs> I, you know, so I haven't really been like breaking down crying. I've been on Lexapro for about like a week and a couple days now. I was on Lexapro last year. It didn't really work. I was very inconsistent with it, but I am determined to be very consistent with it this time. I don't plan on stopping the medication. So, um, let's see how far I could go, right? I look terrible. Oh my God. Oh, I, um, I took the plunge. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be a porn star. And it's so hard for me to like, it's not going to feel real until I'm legitimately there. It's not going to feel real. Like, at all. Like, and I'm so scared. Like, and of course, you guys, I'm going to be vlogging my whole experience. I'm going to, um, I'm going to be vlogging everything. Like, me going to the airport. Uh, I'm only staying out there for, like, a day. I might push it to two days just for my enjoyment. Maybe. I don't know. Because, you know, your girl is a little broke. So run up that OnlyFans for me, please. I will have everything down below in the description. Run it up. Because I'm going to need my bag. I'm going to need all that cash. Okay? I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. Um, but this is really going to open up more doors for me. Because when I'm out in San Diego, I can film content. I could, like... You know, like I could film OF content, YouTube content. I could build connections. I just think this career move is really going to set me where I need to be in life, where I've been wanting to be for the longest, but I haven't been able to get it. So I'm really, really happy about that. And I, you know, and I know that it's not gonna be an easy ride. I mean, it hasn't been so far. 
So I don't expect it to be, but I'm ready for the challenges. I'm ready, you know, and I'm ready to take the next step. Um, so I just wanted to tell you guys that, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm nervous, but I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.